retired civil engineer has been burning his midnight oil, experimenting on his innovation of artificial glacier to mitigate the influences of the climate change on his people in Ladakh. He is Mr. Tsewang Norfil, who had joined Lay Nutrition Project in 1994, the oldest NGO serving the inhabitants of rural Ladakh since 1978. Norfolk's artificial glacier is based on a simple principle of channeling the run of water from the mountain in the winter months under minus 15 to 20 degrees Celsius and scattering it on the north facing shady slopes by controlling the pace and constructing ice retaining stone walls. The artificial glaciers are constructed at different levels between the village and the natural glacier. The mild temperature of the early springtime can trigger the meltdown from the artificial glaciers at the lower level providing timely water for sowing seeds and the ones on the higher level act as a huge water reservoir in the form of ice and collectively recharge the underground water level and thereby increasing the discharges in the streams and springs during summer time. Hello to everybody. Hello means Namaste. You know, in our region, uh, more than 80 percent farmers, their main source of irrigation water is only that, uh, you know, in glacier made water. And it is what happens, we are having a very snowfall during winter. So now, because of global warming, that our glacier is receding very rapidly. So that is why we are facing a lot of problem, particularly during swing season. Now because of the, you know, rural warming, that's our glacier way up. And they are starting melting in the May, month of June. But our swing season starts in the month of April, May. That is the more crucial period for these farmers. So, what is the So, during, we are having a, only one crop in a year. During winter, we can't grow any kinds of crop. So what, with the results, they our during winter, all the water goes, merely go, uh, goes west. So then I thought if I could conserve this waste water in the form of ice, that can be utilized by the farmers during irrigation seasons. So artificial, that is the, main idea of the artificial, artificial glacier. So, uh, artificial glacier is a simple water harvest for the high altitude cold desert that are totally dependent on the glacier. Melt water of different altitude is diverted to the shady area of the hill preferably facing north face uh, where the winter sun is blocked as, uh, by the reach of the mountain slope. At the start of winter or November, we divert the water to make flow into sloping hill face through appropriate designs distribution channel. The distribution channels are so designed as to ensure regular flow of water to a network outlet which keeps on in the ice form all through the winter months. At regular intervals, intervals down the hill slope, gorse stone embankments are built which embed the flow of water making shallow pools. The process of the ice formation continues for three to four months. In the huge reservoir of ice on the mountain so have to determine by something. So, the main thing is some shadow uh, area. When it, when it reaches at the, uh, when it reaches at 
the glacier stays, we are distributing the water in a small arc. So the main technique of the artificial glacier is we have to check the velocity of the water. When we throw the velocity of water, then it starts freezing. You know, in our region is a hill, hilly area. So the trends are very steep. In the main stream, the flow of water being a very high velocity, it doesn't uh, freeze. So that, that is why we have to make a diversion channels and make a appropriate uh, outlets so that we just uh, reduce the volume of water. When we reduce the volume of water, then it starts freezing. You know. So then the side by side, then we're making uh, some uh, ice retaining walls in them. So this ice retaining well is check the velocity of the water. So it starts freezes the water. So overall increase in the agriculture process, the impact of the artificial gas. Overall increase in production of the animal, uh, uh, animal family income, availability of the irrigation water in early spring enabled the farmer to harvest two crops in a year, which was not possible earlier. Food security. Increase in tree plantations, pasture developments, and increased vegetation cover. Uh, impact second. Environmental benefits. Groundwater recharging, regeneration of the spring water, uh, spring significantly increase in the agriculture lands holding. Mitigations against adverse effects of the extreme climate conditions such as droughts and desertification of the crops, humans, and livestock populations. Maintain ecologically balanced by harnessing, conserving natural, uh, natural source with land, water, and vegetation. Also contributes towards Soil moisture conservations, creating conducive uh, conditions for plantations and agriculture. Increase in cattle populations leads to, leads to increased use of the manure as an agriculture field, minimizing the use of the chemical fertilizers. So, impact, uh, impact of the artificial uh, uh, tree, social impact. So, during the during summer weather, what happens? People quench each other for the little water, you know. So, reduce the water dispute among the neighbors and families in the community due to enhanced water availability. More confidence and interest in farming activities. Villagers can earn cash income while remaining as a farmer. Decrease in migration of the villagers to town for seeking employment. Overall improvements in social and cultural life of the villages. Reduce in human residue, no need to walk up the hill to fix the address of the erection canal. So now this is some graph of this. On the you can see I'm sorry, I will hold that. So on the left side you can see Main stream. We have divided the main stream water come in shadow area. On the left side, you can see, then we release in a very small outlet, you know. So, just below the diversion channel, we construct an ice retaining well in CS numbers. So, what happens when the water comes out the uh, outlet? It starts freezing. It's, for example, as one pipe. Water will come, it can spread, say, 10 feet. Then again, when it reach on the ice retaining walls, it again, it again spreads more spaces. So this way, it easily frees and become a, like a nature glacier. So here you can see where we make a retain, ice retaining walls, it uh, comes like a step. Here you can see where we divide the water and more we have uh, uh, released the water through the diversion channel and on the downsides it starts forming 
glaciers. Thank you so much.